opportunity to get as much different kinds of exposure as possible. And believe me, I did a lot of it. So, I mean, I was the general secretary, I was in the debate team, I, I, I did like everything possible. But I, I feel, I mean, that, that's the second part, like what I feel I didn't do, I still feel I should have done more. I don't think I went out enough to people and said that, you know, give me an internship because there's no internship culture in um, in our colleges. I feel I should have done that. I, I mean, maybe I could have started, uh, I, I wouldn't have spent those 15 months in, you know, some someone else's company after graduation. I should have done an internship and figure out, I, I should have done, I should have gone on more treks, I should have, so I just, because, you know, it's far easier to go to IMDb top 250 movies, download all of them. I, I'm not supporting piracy, but from official sites, download all the <laughs> top 250 movies and watch all of them. I'm not saying don't relax on all of this, but you just have to, you know, you have to force yourself to get as much exposure. If you are not doing that, I think that's a, that's, that's a terrible waste of your time. You don't, I mean, I, I don't typically regret anything, and I'm not, I'm not in a sense of regret right now. But if you don't make the most use of this, it's a sheltered environment. And what's the worst that could happen if you mess up in this environment? Nothing. So, you know, I think that's the best, best use of your time. I, I, I personally think I did a lot, but I could have done so many other. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I, I got a lot of time to think. Yes. Uh, you know what uh, we miss out during the college days typically is uh, keeping in touch with the right people. You guys are there together right now. After you start working, uh, eventually you will lose out on, on the good buddies uh, with whom you could have done wonders. So that's the mistake I did. I still regret that. Uh, now, uh, it, is a, it is a hindsight view. Uh, because you asked me that question, I, I thought about it. Uh, because choosing right partners in, in your venture is extremely important. And you have to keep in touch, you have to keep your eyes open. Who are the people who think alike? Though uh, it could be a possibility that they are not yet ready for something like a startup. But, but you do not know after 4-5 or five years or after some time they would be ready. There, there is no harm keeping in touch with the right people. So that's something you should really, really concentrate on which I totally missed out during my college days and I am not in touch with those scholars right now. I don't know if I would have been, I could have done something different. Uh, I don't regret it that much but it would have been great if, if they were with me right now. So, so that's something which you should look at, I think. That's very interesting. Uh, going back to something, uh, you know, uh, when you all introduced your stories, I think, Sri, you have done longest period of employment. And uh, I think eight years, you say. Then also a small no, outfit. But 20 years. 20 years. So I was very happy when you said that there are young people on both sides of them. <laughs> <laughs> but believe me, it doesn't show. We don't believe that yeah. uh, you have done 20 years of uh, yeah. service. So, you know, it is so difficult uh, by the time you decided to change uh, uh, the tracks. There is a difference of whole ecosystem environment, which also, fine, you made your call or you made a decision, but there is a whole environment or ecosystem around you, which also has to gel into this new alternative that you have chosen. How, how did that uh, transformation happen? How, how did your family and environment and friends, and how did everyone react? How did you convince them or maybe they didn't need to convince. What, what is the, that part of the story? Uh, so thankfully I have uh, I've always uh, had the support of my family members. Um, they were obviously scared when I started uh, hinting to them of what my intentions were. Um, but no one ever resisted, uh, no one ever attempted to stop me. There were concerns, of course, and there were valid questions as to have you ensured that, because it's a single income family and, and that makes it really tough to kind of uh, do away with the salary and suddenly uh, uh, set out on your own. Uh, what 20 years does, on the other hand, is it allows you time to uh, put aside your kitty. Yeah. So, so, uh, so I know that I can give a certain number of years uh, without having to worry about uh, you know, running the kitchen. 
Um, I think the only person who kind of said something which shook me to my core was my child. Um, when he asked me uh, a few months into the venture that how long do you think the money will last? Is it enough for the next three months? Uh, or would it get over even before that? And that shook me because it, 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 I realized how much, um, how much he was worried about it and he was not showing it. And then I realized that that, that was the case with everyone around. They were all how, how old is he? Uh, he? He was 11 when he asked me this question. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, and then I realized that that's the question probably in everybody's minds and, and they're just not asking it, they're just putting up a brave face. Uh, but yeah, but, but that's about it. I think, I think I've been fortunate in that sense. Is it easy? It's not easy, trust me. It's, it's very, very, very painful. Um, the last time when I uh, spoke at a seminar, I said it is almost like a de addiction program that you have to go through because you're so used to receiving money at the end of the month and all of a sudden it stops coming in. Uh, it, it, it's a it's a tectonic shift that happens in your life. So so yeah, it it, it uh, it's it's tough, but it's fun. Neil, uh, your venture in a way is the longest one, which is uh, surviving very well or doing very growing very well. I should I should say. Uh, back in 2010, I think you nine. Back in 2009, when you set out to do that, startup was over a bio. Today, startup has become a very, very common word, which is repeatedly, of course, there is a startup India, there are conferences like this one, uh, there was Lokshatta conference, and there are so many events happening around it. Do you feel, because you have started when this word was not around, do you feel we have overcooked the goose? Do you feel that we are going to the other extreme in this whole startup thing? What, what is your take on it? Uh, how do you see it? Because, you know, uh, when you started, it was not a fashion. So you are doing something which you are convinced about. Do you see this risk that people will start doing it because everyone is doing it? Do you feel that? And what is your answer to it? Yes. So how, how, what will you advise our students? Because you know our students say, oh startup, great, this is something everyone is doing, this is exciting, this we must do. Then what will be your... No, so I think, uh, I think very much the goose is overcooked to some other extent at this point in time. Uh, I think what has happened is that, uh, I mean, okay, so, the, I mean, the word was around, I, I used to volunteer for an uh, event called Startup Saturday, that's when I actually met my co-founder for the first time. So, it was around at that time, but it was like, you know, like a niche event, like Sri said, you know, nobody, I mean, it, it was not as um, common as it is today. And I think one of the things that has happened is, you know, we are hyping something that has been around for ever. I mean, I mean, starting businesses has been going on for for ever. I mean, it's only literally only in the last 150 years did you like most. I mean, 150 years back is when like factories started and then clerical jobs started. That's when this concept of a job actually came out, came about. Right, last 150 years. It's actually an unnatural concept. But so actually business is usual, job is unusual. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's just that we are born into a system which is, um, you know, especially us from the middle class, our parents work uh, in, um, you know, somebody else's business, etc. Which is why it seems. So I think, uh, you know, the startup world itself is, you know, goes is cooked is one way, the other way I think of it, it's been romanticized. You know, when you romanticize something, and, uh, yeah, when you romanticize something, it, you know, I mean, you know, when something is romantic, it means there is no reason to it, right? So you fall in love, there, there is no reason for that. So it's like when you romanticize something, people start pursuing it without rhyme or reason. And to be very honest, I think, uh, yeah, you know, I completely agree with Sri's point of, you know, people are not uh, born entrepreneurs, they can learn, etc., etc. At the same time, I don't think it's wrong to say that entrepreneurship is not for everyone. It's not for everyone. And it's not about inherent capability, it's about environment, it's about, you know, what uh, ecosystem you operate in, etc, etc. Now what happens is, it's not for everyone, but it's been romanticized. So, exactly, so there is a, you know, the, the, the tendency is that, and, and at least right now, because startups are not doing well and we, there's a, been a bloodbath and I mean, I don't know whether I should call it a card or whatever it is, whatever is going on. 
in 2015 i was meeting people every single week at least one person saying i want to book it i'm like boss what is going on i mean you know, that's the so it's not like 2015 i think 2015 was like insane but yeah very much the romanticization is there and i, I don't know whether it is justified or not that's what i think yeah please so the question is very 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 relevant Mm, uh, 2015 was supposedly very good for startups, okay. Uh, but no one day couldn't raise even a single rupee. Because uh, we had a lot of pressure from investors that uh, we think Dharmik Vidhi should be done like this, Dharmik Vidhi should be done like that. Oh, you do not have a website, oh no app, how will you survive? Right. And, and we were very disappointed when every other venture capitalist and every other angel investor said no to us to even give us single rupees but at the same time we knew what we were doing we knew what would work uh, we knew uh, in dharmic with the area just opening an app will not work because nobody sitting here would come on the app click on vastu shanti pay 25000 and say yes we are expecting pundits on this particular day no the area is very different so we kept on hitting back uh, to the investors saying all your what you are saying is right that is what is happening we understand you want to put money into these kind of companies but if we do that we will fail we know that and we are okay with putting our own saving or or uh, the, the the point which uh, she said uh, we uh, had very little saving, we have rather, and right now we are not able to save even a single rupee. But uh, we have some confidence that what we are doing, uh, we are going to survive. And we are, we will complete two years in, in this March, and till now by the God's grace, because we are doing the work of God, that is what we believe. Uh, we haven't faced even a single rupee trouble. Uh, every time that was some way out out of the difficult situations and uh, uh, I would also want to stress one thing because this is the age where you have to learn these things that you have to choose a simple life if you really want to do something we chose simple life we were earning more than 3 lakhs per month when we were doing a job but uh, we I don't remember we did pubbing or, or we had a lot of coffees and CCDs even twice or thrice in a month no, we were saving that money because we knew we would need that at some point of time. We do not have a car, we sleep on the floor, we still sleep on the floor, we do not have double beds and we are okay with it. We do not have a LED TV, we have a normal TV because we hardly watch TV. So it was a call that why to put so much of money when we are not even watching it for 5 minutes. So these are the calls which you have to take in your life and from this age itself, otherwise it is going to be very difficult to start up is a peer pressure nowadays, but <laughs> do not fall for it. Uh, you work on the business model, you work on the partners uh, with whom you are going to go with. Uh, you be ready to fight with anybody, then, then be it uh, the Rena Modi or even the God. Even, even if, if that person is standing in front of you, you have to be sure that this, we think this is going to work because of excellence and reasons. And we think this is not going to work because at that moment, you are the expert in that area and the other person is not. So you have to maintain this attitude, choose simple life and, and then proceed and, and by simple life I do not mean you become another uh, Mahatma Gandhi and start wearing dhoti. You, there are ways to choose a simple life for your requirement and, and uh, you, if you think, if you give a thought to it, you would know where you can save and uh, where you are just spending money without any reason. So, so this is how it should be from this age then only it will work out at, at a later time. That's very interesting message indeed. Uh, she... They are, they are clapping very honestly, believe me, they like it. You know, it is, it is very interesting the way uh, she gave that... Uh, uh, she said it, I am living a very simple life and that commitment I think is a very vital message that the students need to take. Shri, I would like to ask you, especially from the fact that you hail from marketing background, where do you think in terms of areas or in terms of uh, uh, competencies, where do you think startups will really flourish in the coming 
Thanks. So, um, so I think this is something which you would have heard hundred times over by now, but uh, at, at the most fundamental level, um, if you are solving the real problem, you have good chances of succeeding. It's as simple as that. Um, so I don't think, at least I don't take a stance on sectors because frankly, even to the investment community, if you ask which sector is hot, that answer to that question changes every year and every few months. Uh, because frankly, I don't think uh, anyone can ever predict which sector is going to be uh, uh, big on a sustained basis over the next 10, 15, 20 years. Um, there are multiple areas um, where successes will happen. There are, I think, three things which are crucial for um, any startup to succeed. Uh, first is, I think the opportunity size has to be um, reasonably large. Um, so I hear a lot of people saying that